Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, uh, the NEC members who are present, the members of parliament, both in the National Assembly and in the Senate, the other members who are former members of parliament and also former MCAs, and members of uh, this great party. Good afternoon. We are happy to be back here. We are happy to be back to our party. We are happy that for the first time we feel the ownership of the party is with the members. It's unfortunate that uh, I think the former team decided to tell the staffs to keep off and not to come to the party headquarters. We were also hoping that uh, the former officials or the ones who are suspended would find them here so that at least uh, as they go and transit, they will be able to do the handing over. But unfortunately, they have decided to think uh, or to do otherwise. However, we have been sub, uh, sub, substantively been put in office by the NEC, and we will do everything possible within the confines of the law to make sure that uh, we adhere to our constitution first and also to the wish of our people. So, so from today, we will be operating from here. We will make sure that uh, the process, the disciplinary process, will take place and make sure that we give those who are suspended fair treatment will be fair to them we have already communicated to them and i am hoping that in due course they will be able to appear before the organs of the party which are charged with that responsibility but we are happy that we are now united as a party we are happy that we stand for peace if you look at the logo of our party you will see that uh, is a dove you know which symbolizes peace you cannot symbolize peace when you are in demonstrations. We have advised our members of both the National Assembly and the Senate, NEC members, to desist from attending any meeting that would create chaos in the country, that would bring disharmony in the country. So in effect, we are telling our members that they should not attend any meeting that is going to bring disruption in peace of, the peace of our country. With that, we want to say that uh, we will be communicating to the nation the next course of action, and we will be updating the country on anything that we will be doing because we want transparency. One of the things that we will do as a, the team here is to make sure that we do a proper audit of all the activities before the elections, during the elections, and after the election. We we'll look at all the financial transactions to make sure that uh, they conform with the fiscal policy of our country. But we are inviting everybody to come back to our party. Those who had left, we want to tell them that uh, you have a team that is welcoming you with the open arms. Our MCA caucus, in due course, I think in the next two or one or two weeks, will be able to have the first ever MCA caucus. And you remember they were elected in, uh, in August last year, but there has never been an, an MCA caucus. This is the first time that we had a PG, you know. So we want to assure our members, both elected and those who lost, that you have a safe haven, you have a party that will listen to you, and a party that will move forward together. Thank you. Unless there are questions. There is. <coughs> any question? Just like, just any yeah. question. Yeah. Any question, maybe. It's very clear uh, we are dealing with papers. The letter from uh, the ORPP is very clear. The Office of the Registrar of Political Parties is very clear that uh, the meeting that was held uh, in Nakuru was uh, properly constituted so it means that everything that uh, was done is binding in fact what uh, my good friend honorable kioni has not said is that there is a letter that was written to him replying to his allegations and he was told categorically that the meeting that was held in akuru on the 10th was properly constituted yeah any other That's, of course, for the chair. The chair is uh, 
is the one who is going to answer that because basically it falls in the docket of the chair, the national chair. Uh, we have already communicated to both the chairs of uh, the National Disciplinary Committee and the Internal Disciplinary uh, Committee, so Dispute Resolution Committee, and uh, we have given them about a week to convene. So that has already been done. Uh, we will be able to communicate, as we said, eh, that we will, we will, there will be no opaqueness. Uh, it will be very clear whichever uh, position that you will be taking will be able to communicate. And you, you have said categorically that you will be following the, the Constitution. So when we will close the bridge when we come to it. We have not come to that bridge. But for sure you can rest assured that you will close that bridge. Yeah, so, so, uh, <laughs> niseme kwamba tumefika hapa kama uh, wabunge eh, ambao wamechaguliwa, wabunge wa seneti, wabunge wa bunge la kitaifa, wabunge MCS, na pia tuko na kamati ya NEC ambayo imewakirishwa ama yumeongozwa na mwenye kiti. Eh, wa chama chetu cha jubili na pia wafuasi wetu wa chama chetu cha jubili na tumekuja kwa sababu jana kuna barua ilitolewa na uh, direct uh, na registrar ama msajiri wa vyama kusema kwamba mkutano uliofanyika kule nakuru ambao ulikuwa wa NEC ama NEC ulikuwa mkutano harali ambao ulisema kwamba maafisa watatu wakae kando kama wanachunguzwa na hao ni e, mheshimiwa Kioni mheshimiwa uh, uh, Murade na pia Gichohi wakae kando na pia wakasema ama kwa hiyo mkutano ikasemwa kwamba wale ambao watakuwa kaimu kwa hizo viti ni mheshimiwa Kainan ambaye ni naibu mwenyekiti Mheshimiwa Rachel uh, Nyamai ambaye ni mweka hazina na mimi ambaye nitakuwa kaimu katibu mkuu wa chama. Tumekuja leo na tulikuwa tunafikiria kwamba tunaweza pata maafisa hawao hapa ili tusalimiane na wao watukaribishe lakini tumekuta mahame tumekuta wame, wa, wengine wamefunga na wafanyikazi wengine wakaambiwa wasije kazini. Lakini tunataka kuhakikishia kwamba kutoka siku ya leo tuko ofisini kiharali na tutahakikisha kwamba zile taratibu zote ambazo zinahitajika kufuatwa tutafuata tutawapatia nafasi na mwenyekiti amesema kwamba wale ambao wameambiwa wakae kando watapatiwa nafasi ya kujitetea na ikifika hapo barua tayari wametumiwa na wata, sisi tutahakikisha kwamba itakuwa ni hakikutakuwa na giza hata kidogo watapatiwa nafasi na ninyi watu ama waandishi wa habari mtapata nafasi ya kuja ku, eh, kuhudhuria vikao vyote ambavyo vitakuwa vinaedeshwa eh uh, kwamba na ni vizuri i want to just confirm to you that i'm not a director of elections in azimio i'm director of elections in jubilee and uh, those are just threats, and they remain as threats. One of the resolutions that we made not, as NEC is, yeah, uh, one of the resolutions that we made is for Jubilee to be recognized as a distinct polit uh, parliamentary party. We have been mistreated for a long time because there is nothing to hide. Some of the positions that were supposed to be given to Jubilee in Parliament were not given to, uh, were not, uh, given to Jubilee. Some of the positions in Parliamentary Service Commission where we were supposed to even have a commissioner from Jubilee. It was taken by ODM. So if there are people who could be issuing threats, it's us, not them. So we are only claiming what is actually ours.